Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to actually learn how to script these little buttons up here to make them actually do something cool. We're not going to go too deep into scripting yet. We're probably only going to make a Hello World button, but it's better than nothing. So, we're going to go over to this text button, and we're actually going to change a couple of the properties first. We're first going to change this text color change this to 200 okay by the way I'm going to click this again you guys see since the new Roblox Studio 2013 the select color menu has changed please comment your thoughts about the new 2013 color picker I don't want too many thoughts on everything else because that's not what this tutorial is about I do have a Roblox Studio 2013 video and I would like for comments possibly on there about your thoughts but not on here thank you but please tell me what you think about this because I personally like it quite a bit it's much more streamlined back to this we'll go to text button make sure it's selected and then we'll have to go down here and we'll insert a script and in the script we don't want just print hello world because no matter what that's going to print hello world. What we're going to do is we're going to say script, oh, caps lock, script.parent, as you all know, script.parent would, in this case, equal the text button. But here's the fun part. We're making a event handler. This event is called mouse button one click. I'll explain why it's named that in a moment. But mouse button one click connect function and so this is all other than this part right here this is all pretty basic we did this with the script that parent that touched and things like that however script that parent that mouse button one click this is a new event this event is for text buttons and image buttons and I think you can even have it in some other um, GUI components but I've never done that so script up parent that mouse button one click so mouse button okay cl mouse click would make a lot of sense right you just if you click on it it fires the event but mouse button one click changes things a little bit now most of you are probably using a Windows computer some of you might be using a Mac computer if you're using a Mac computer I don't actually know exactly how your mouse is laid out. I'm pretty sure it's almost the exact same thing with just a couple slight differences. And then some, again, some of you might be using a Mac with a Windows or a PC style mouse or vice versa. However, I'm going to get back to the point here. So most of you, even if you're not right handed, you're probably controlling your mouse with your right hand. Meaning left click would be your mouse button one. Okay? Your left clicker thing part I don't know what it's called the left part would be the called the button one it's called button one because it's the primary button everybody uses it for everything uh, programming wise other than right clicking for an extra little menu or something like that so right anyway however some of you might be left handed I'm just going to explain why it's called mouse button one and not right or left click. Some of you might be left handed or I doubt it, but some of you might be right handed and using the mouse with your left hand, but you're still using your primary mouse key with your index finger, meaning the right side of the mouse, the right button is mouse button one. That can all be changed in your OS and configuring the driver a little bit differently. But that's why it's called button one and not right button. Or, sorry, left button click. Now, now that I've explained that, we can get back to saying print hello world. Now, I'm going to do something that none of you will be able to validate uh, simply because I'm about to click the GUI when it loads. Here we are the GUI is loaded. I'm going to click the GUI with my right 
mouse button. You guys can, hold on just a second. You guys can all hear this, right? Okay, so you hear it, you even see the button reacting. But if I go down here, you do not see print hello world. That's because I was clicking with my right mouse button, mouse button three. At least I think it's three. I always get two and three mixed up, so I don't know. But this time, I'm going to click it with my left mouse button, and you guys should all be able to hear this. I clicked it once. Well, actually, I clicked it twice, but that's because my mouse is old. And you see we get Hello World down here. That is mouse button one click. We will probably continue with GUIs um, a little bit, uh, scripting the GUIs for a while, and then who knows what we'll do. Comment below what you would like for us to do, and maybe we'll do it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit, or I always do that. Actually, I don't always do it. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond to how you felt about this video. Now, catch you guys later.